So let's say you just purchased yourself a special edition Xbox One, you know, a Halo edition or something like that. And within a week, you get the message, you have been suspended from Xbox Live until the year 9,999. Let's talk about why that happened to me. All right, so for the sake of keeping it relevant, uh, I asked about an Xbox One, whereas in my situation, it was actually the Star Wars Edition Xbox 360. And this has been a few years ago that this happened, but a lot of people ask me why I don't play consoles or if I have an Xbox One or whatever. So I kind of wanted to, to discuss it, discuss what happened, why it happened, and why I probably won't ever buy a console ever again. Um, at least not a Microsoft console. So, gosh, back forever ago, it's been several, several years ago, I used to play a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I was really good at that game. I was really good at, at uh, Call of Duty 4 as well. Um, how good? I was in the top 5,000 uh, of free-for-all players, which... I mean, considering that there were several, several hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of players at the time, that's pretty decent. Um, I no longer hold that record, I'm sure, because I haven't played it in years and years and years and years, and it's easy to lose your place. But I used to play it every day, and I would play it all day. So I got really, really good at that game. And when Modern Warfare 2 came out, uh, I was determined to be a top player on that as well. And... There was a problem. If you guys remember in Modern Warfare 2, um, there was a, a little glitch or something. I don't know. It, not really a glitch. It was just basically poor production quality. Um, there was something that you could do where you could have, like, you and your buddy could go into a free-for-all match or even a team death match or whatever, and one guy would have tactical insertion, and the other guy would just kill the buddy and... He would lay down another tactical insertion. He would spawn. You'd kill him, you know. And he'd just do this over and over again. It was called boosting, right? Well, it was terrible. You know, it was like every match that I would join, there was always a booster or, or a set of boosters in there. And it would just piss me off because, you know, I busted my ass to get, you know, legit rankings and get way up there. And, uh hear these cheaters being dicks and you know dropping nukes on you in every single match and uh, so I got really tired of it and so I started looking up stuff on YouTube like how to um, how to take care of boosters or how to expose boosters that kind of thing and this was long before I was ever really doing YouTube especially the video game stuff I might have been doing uh, my console showcases at the time but anyway uh, I was, I don't remember who the guy was. I'm sure he's old news now. I don't remember what the guy's name was, but I watched this guy who he had put in his bio that he worked for Xbox Live, okay? He put in there that he worked for Xbox Live and that he was somebody who exposed cheaters and then he would... Like, either talk to him on voice chat, or he would send him messages uh, via text and all that stuff, and then he would share the video with everybody. And he'd have people crying, you know, being terribly afraid that they were going to get banned from Xbox Live for cheating. Um, so basically, the bio read something along the lines of, like, you know, I, I, am, I work for Xbox uh, or Microsoft or something like that, and... I hunt cheaters. It was a lot more in depth. And uh, I was like, man, that's brilliant because I just thought it was, I thought it was hilarious that the stuff that he got the guys to do. And on top of that, it seemed to work for the guy. He would go into a match and then he would, you know, he would make it known, hey, I know that you're boosting and you're going to be exposed and now you're going to be banned. And then immediately these people would just like leave you know the match so I was like that's brilliant what a great way you know and no one's getting hurt or anything what a great way to solve this problem so I decided to do it and uh, 
I had it on there for quite a while. I mean, probably close to a year. And I actually just forgot about the bio being that way. Modern Warfare 2 had come and gone. I think Modern Warfare 3 might have been the new one. I don't recall. Either way, um, I'd forgotten about my bio being like that. And one day I turn on my console. At, this was, I had just bought the, the Star Wars R2-D2 Xbox One. And I think I had the white connect with it and everything. Like I went all out and bought the big setup and everything. And uh, came with like Star Wars Connect and all that. Which was a terrible game. But anyway. <laughs> uh, I turn on my Xbox. And this is seriously like a, about a week after I had purchased this thing. I get this message. You have been suspended from Microsoft uh, Xbox Live uh, until 1224 of 9,999. And I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, what the fuck is going on? Now, I had over the over the period of years that I owned that account, I had spent, you know, hundreds of dollars on videos and DLC and things like that. And once you're banned, that's it. You You don't get to keep that stuff. It's all gone. So I was, I was pretty sour. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. It wasn't that they banned the console. They banned my screen name, okay? And I would have had to start all over again. I lost all of my stuff. After all of the bullshit with them making faulty products, faulty Xbox 360s that kept red ringing and stuff like that, after going through all of that and having to replace my console at least twice and then purchasing the special edition to turn it on to get to this message, I was like... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why? What's what's happened? What did I do? So I contact Xbox Live's uh, like customer service, and this guy gets on there, and he's like being really shitty at me. You know, like, well, we t he he told me we've banned you because you're impersonating an Xbox or a Microsoft employee, which is against the terms of service, and I didn't. Is my own stupidity, guys. I was like, ah, man, you know, like, I can't believe that I didn't pay attention to the t to the TOS enough to realize that my bio would get me into some trouble. Well, I tried to talk the guy and like some sense into the guy. I was like, look, man, <clears throat> the only reason why I did that was to stop these boosters on this game. That was it. You know, I haven't done anything. I'm not trying to get people's credit card information. You know, I'm just. This was an old bio. I should have updated it to where it didn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't have even done that in the first place, but I was really getting tired of dealing with the boosters because when I did that, I mean, I'm telling you, I definitely had a lot of response from it. People would leave when I would come into the match and stuff. So anyway, it wasn't working. The guy wasn't, you know, it's was like, well, that's something we take very seriously and there's nothing I can do about your ban, which is bullshit. They could have totally lifted it, but they, they have that availability they can do that but he chose not to and at that point i decided you know what i'm not interested in playing xbox anymore i just <laughs> something about the whole situation just really you know i mean i spent all this money on it and then now it was all worthless so i decided hey, I'm going to try PC gaming now and see what that's all about and learn about PCs and, you know, why it's better. And honestly, when I made the Switch, I, I felt right at home. You know, it took me a little bit to get used to it. I had purchased an Alienware X51 PC, which was like, it was a good in-between, you know, from going from consoles to PCs. It was definitely good for learning you know, the, the benefits of a PC. And, yeah, so the other thing is, like, after I got the PC, it was like, I don't have to pay for Xbox Live anymore. You know, I don't have to pay for any online playing anymore. If I want to play online, I just buy the game, and that's that, which is the way it should be. So, yeah, that's why I got banned from Xbox Live and why you will probably never see me on Xbox Live again. I, I don't know... You know, at this point in time, I still feel very strongly about that. But, I don't know. Maybe one day I might buy an Xbox One. I'm not really interested in it right now. It's just one of those things that it still has left a bad taste in my mouth. And I am perfectly content with playing my PC. So the moral of the story is, don't impersonate a Microsoft employee. 
even if your heart's in the right place, those guys don't give a shit, and they will bring down the band hammer on you faster than you can even blink, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's my story, guys. Don't feel bad for me. I did it to myself. It's just, here's a little news. That's why you won't see me playing on consoles, but hey, I have no problems customizing your consoles, and nothing I do will get your console banned or anything like that. Uh, I did have somebody ask me a silly question like that. Won't this permanently, like, he was asking about my Fallout 4 Xbox One. He's like, won't this permanently ban you from Xbox Live? It's like, oh, man. I cannot answer your question without being a troll to you. <laughs> I just can't. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, you know, keep your nose clean. Don't be acting like a douche. You might get banned. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.